Hey guys, this is Jimmy with The Detail Company. So I wanted to follow up on a video I made a few months ago uh, where I compared the Tornador to a JC Harden tool. The Tornador has got a really good brand reputation for being a blowout tool. They have um, different models, different types of tools for different reasons um, and different uses. I use a Tornador blowout. I can't remember the model, but it's got a tank on it where you can do a dry blowout and also a wet blowout. Um, and I'm going to show you guys that here. I'm going to pull it out. I definitely I retired the uh, JC Harden completely from my arsenal. I don't have it in my trailer whatsoever at all. I think I actually disposed of it um, because it just wasn't it wasn't valuable to me. It wasn't doing the job that I it it actually did the job for maybe 30 or 40 cars, and then it started breaking. And when I'm investing in tools, I want tools that are going to last, and if I do proper maintenance, aren't going to break. Um, for that tool, I was doing proper maintenance, keeping it clean, and it still failed on me. So, I invested in the Tornador. Um, I don't know what model this one is, but it's got the, the tank on it, and it's got the hose in the end here. Um, with compressed air, this moves around at a fast rate um, and blows out debris and dust in a car and in cracks and crevices in carpeting uh, whatnot. And I, uh, I connect this to my 3 8 air hose, which is 50 feet right here of length that can come out. And this is powered by the uh, Roller JC20. And the reason I want to make this video to follow up on the Tornador is because I've been getting questions and comments on that video um, about what I use to power this tool. And this is all that I use. It's a 3-gallon JC20 dual motor compressor i think i got it for three or four hundred dollars um, on amazon and this is a uh, it's a pretty good compressor it gets me through a dash and a center console maybe one or two doors before i have to let it refill uh, which is pretty decent for a three gallon tank again it's because of the dual motor that's letting me do that it can keep up with my pace for the most part um, before it gets down too far in PSI and I have to let it reload itself. Um, another thing that uh, if you're going to be mobile uh, detailing and you want to get this compressor, you have to take into consideration that my generator, which is a 4500 uh, Westinghouse iGen 4500, um, it says 3700 running watts and 4500 peak watts. That is not powerful enough for this compressor. It will flip some breakers. Um, so I have to bring uh, 100 feet of extension cord with me to the appointments I go to and plug into power either in someone's garage or in someone's office space. And 100 feet of cord is definitely enough. If you want to be on the safer side, 150 feet should be more than, more than plenty. And again, I'm detailing in downtown Seattle where I'm dealing with townhouses, apartments, um, and 100 feet to 150 feet is definitely enough for me and what I need. Um, uh, so yeah, and if you want to be on even the safer side of things, you could go with a bigger tank. Uh, for me, I think it's an argument of between space in your trailer, your mobile setup, your van, what you, whatever you have, and actual power that you need. For me, I only use my blowout tool to blow out dust and maybe some debris and carpeting. Other than that, all I'm using it for is blowing out pads when I'm correcting paint. But most of the time, I'll just bring extra pads and replace them and then clean them when I'm done with my detail appointment to save time. Um, so I, if you're in the market for buying a blowout system with blowout tools and blowout hoses and a compressor, I wouldn't worry so much about the size of the tank. I'd put more of my energy into finding a good motor. Um, because the motor is what's going to be able to give you power and save you time. The JC20 is great. The one thing that I would say is important is that if you're not wanting to use someone's power at their house, maybe investing in a more powerful generator or power system uh, that you bring with you. Um, other than that, I think my three gallon JC20 is more than enough for what I need. Uh, it fits my needs and I think uh, if you guys have any questions or I can answer something that you may be wondering about Please drop some comments uh, some questions in the comments below. Please like and subscribe I'll be making some more videos on the tools. I'm using 
uh, coming up here soon. Please uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks.